What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Let's take a look at this roster for the Minnesota Vikings really quick here. Um, and uh, I want to talk about kind of what, what I like to do with them uh, as far as depth chart goes. Remember our basic fronts and stuff like that. So let's hop into this. Remember our offense, we're using the Miami, Offen Miami Dolphins offensive playbook and the uh, Cincinnati Bengals defensive playbook. Uh, here we got Josh Freeman at quarterback. Uh, AP, of course, at running back with Gerhardt backing him up. I really like this guy Joe Boehner, too. Uh, all three of those guys are very effective. Jerome Felton, uh, the fullback here. Uh, there's no fullback in this offense, so you may consider subbing him in at tight end, but for now, we'll leave him at fullback. Um, excuse me. Tight end, uh, this is where the depth chart change is coming to happen. Uh, Carlson, I'll move him up to number one, and then I put Felton at number two. Um, and Ru uh, Rudolph is going to be a wide receiver in this offense, so uh, I put Rudolph at the number two wide receiver. And then I have Patterson in the slot with Jennings. Uh, you could put Simpson in there. Uh, you could even put Joe Webb in there if you're a fan of him. Shout out to Ryan Dykes. But overall, guys, let's just look at these ratings real quick. They don't play a huge role in the offense anyway. Uh, but the catch of traffic, in my opinion, and the spec catch of Patterson uh, is worth it over that 98 jump of Simpson. So I like to go with Patterson there. Uh, left defensive end. Now remember, your, your your depth chart for defense is very important for the Minnesota Vikings. They don't have a whole lot of linebackers. They have a lot of defensive linemen, so we're going to use a four DNs type of package uh, with this team. So uh, left end, that's going to be our right of screen end. That needs to be our fastest defensive end. So that's going to be Everson Griffin there. Uh, and then I'm going to put um, I'm going to put uh, Jared Allen to back him up. So these two, if I ever do go to a four DNs package, will come into the game and. Uh, See if I can grab. Where's Jared Allen at? He's actually number one here. Uh, and I'm, we're, gonna, we're actually going to put Robeson at the right of screen or the right end here, left of screen uh, defensive end. And then we're going to have uh, where's my man Griffin backing him up? There we go. So that's that part. Uh, defensive tackles. Uh, we're going to take Floyd and we're going to put him at number three. We're going to put Evans at number um, four and Guion at number five. And we're going to put uh, actually we're going to put Jared Allen here. At the number two, so it's going to be Allen and Williams in the middle. Uh, remember that you know the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and they were using a four-down lineman set, used an athletic, uh, athletic defensive tackle like Warren Sapp that could dominate the inside and the outside uh, with his speed and agility, and also his uh, pure strength. Left outside linebacker, there's no. I believe that the left outside linebacker is not in this offense, or is actually not on this uh, uh, formation. So you just want to put somebody here to fill uh, fill a roster spot. Middle linebacker uh, for this team, uh, that's going to be your blitzer uh, on that side. So I like to put uh, Chad Greenway here. I feel like he has the best blitzing uh, potential, and then you just back him up with whoever. Uh, back him up with a speed guy. You know, do whatever you want there. And then uh, Desmond Bishop's going to be your coverage backer. I feel like that fits him best. Uh, typically, I'll user him, and I feel like Desmond Bishop's one of the better user players in the game just because of the way the game plays. Defensive backs. Uh, I like to put uh, Josh Robinson here at uh, the number two defensive back, and I like to put uh, Cheryl's in the slot. Uh, in my opinion, uh, speed kills in this game, and you have to be able to run with some of the better uh, the better guys. And also, what I like about these guys is they almost all catch the ball really well. Uh, obviously, you know Rhodes has a little better catching, uh, but he doesn't have he doesn't have everything else. He does have 70 hit power, which is actually pretty good. Um, if he has a couple of more little statistics, he has man. Ooh, his man in zone is really good too. Yeah, I mean, yep, we're gonna have to start him. We're gonna have to start uh, Xavier Rhodes here, number two, and then I'm gonna throw Robinson in in the slot now with that 97 speed coming off that edge. I feel like that's gonna be pretty good. Uh, him and Cheryl's can kind of rotate in if I need to, if I need, uh, if they get tired or whatever. Uh, safeties, uh, free safety in this defense. Uh, Typically is going to be covering. Uh, I think he's actually on the left side, which means he's going to be covering the deep zone a lot of times. So he's going to be your need to be your best zone coverage player. So obviously that's going to work out with with Blanton being a or, or with Smith being a beast here. And then I'll, I'm going to check the hit power. Uh, I feel like hit power is one of the most important ratings this year. And you see our our starting shark safety has really good hit power, 88. So we'll go ahead and leave him there, and we'll have Blanton there to back him up. And also, I really like this guy, Cinda Jo or whatever, uh, as my third string. So that's the depth chart for the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, kick returning, I have uh, Patterson, but I'm actually going to, I really want to put AP back there, but I don't want to get him hurt. 
So I'm going to put Robinson back there just because he's so fast and Patterson can back him up. And I really like Patterson for punt returning. So that's the Minnesota Vikings roster, guys. Let's go ahead and, and, and uh, save save our rosters. Be sure to save them before you get into game. Otherwise, they won't work. But that's the team breakdown, guys. And we'll see you guys in a little bit uh, where we hop into game action. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys in a bit. Be sure to subscribe for more Madden 25 content. Thanks for watching again. And we'll see you guys uh, in about five minutes.